Hey, this is David Mark Erickson from LightroomGuy.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you a few things that I really love about Lightroom's before and after feature. Lightroom's before and after feature lets you see changes that you've made in an image in the develop module. So let's start by reviewing the two most basic options using keyboard shortcuts, the backslash key and the Y key. First, the backslash key. Find a photo that you've done some work on and open it in the develop module. Once you're ready, hit the backslash key, which is going to be the same for both Mac and PC. On screen, you're now seeing your original copy of your image from before you started making any changes. When I'm developing photos, I'm constantly hitting the backslash key to check my changes as I go. You'll also notice that Lightroom displays the word before in both the upper right hand corner of the main display as well as down in the toolbar. This is just a helpful aid in case the changes are subtle and you can't tell which version you're looking at. Press the backslash key again and you'll return to the most current state of your image. Now let's work with the Y key which is going to give us a side by side before and after comparison. Let's review the on-screen changes we're seeing. Obviously, we get the two versions of the image side by side with the before image always on the left. Now, something important to note here is that the before image by default is the image as when it was first imported into Lightroom. This can change and we're gonna take a look at that feature in part two of this posting. One other thing, using your mouse or trackpad, you can zoom in and scroll around on either image and all your movements will be mirrored in the other. This is a great way to check localized adjustments that you've made. But that's not all. Let's look down here at this view cycle button in the toolbar. If we open this up, we see that we have four different view options. We've got two side by side and two top and bottom options. Let's check out the left-right split. And we see now that our image is cut in half and the left is our before version. Like with the previous view, we can mouse around and see our develop changes. Again, this is a really great way to check on those localized adjustments like spot removal and radial filters. Now, you'll also notice some other options here in the toolbar, and I want to warn you against using these just now. In part two of this posting, we're going to cover what those do, and we're also going to take a look at another hidden feature that makes Lightroom's before and after tool something really special. Okay, thanks again for stopping by, and be sure to check out more great content at lightroomguy.com.